with the first pick in the NBA draft. The New Orleans Pelicans select. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. The NBA draft is here. Everybody's excited about the number one pick. And I thought, what better time to review Nike's newest basketball shoe? And we're talking about the Air Max Edge 270 Draft Day. Now this sneaker is definitely nice to look at, definitely appealing to the eye from that black and white upper. Um, the hits of red in various places and blue, uh, and then that question mark on the tongue, kind of going with the question of who the number one pick's gonna be. That big blue air bubble in the back makes it look like it's ready to handle business, but when you look back at the CB34 Air Max 2 that it's been styled after, this shoe was definitely built to do battle in the paint. If you watch Barkley play, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That, that full grain upper, the midsole that looked so chunky and looked like a snarling dog's mouth, um, it definitely was something that looked intimidating. Uh, with the 270, I can't say that's the case. The, the lighter weight material, um, the fabric, everything looks a little less uh, durable. Um, looking back at the CB34 is the lacing system. It's very similar on the 270 as far as look, but it uses straps rather than those plastic tabs. Those ventilation circles on the top are not actually ventilation, they're just painted on. Uh, the backs look very similar in style. Um, the air pockets, obviously the 270 using the most advanced air pocket they have up to date. And then the Air Max 2s had the wraparound air pocket with the visible air pocket on the bottom, which they don't do so much anymore. Obviously with this new Air Max 270s, they're trying a, a couple different things. They're kind of bringing the past and meeting it with the future, or well, the present and the future um, of sneakers. I think the biggest reason why this shoe might not see a whole lot of success as far as sales wise is when you look back at an iconic shoe uh, like the CB34s, um, it wasn't just the shoe itself. I mean, it is something that was stylized to look good, but it was also meant to do work on the court, and that's important. I don't know if you can do that with the 270. Plus, the 270 doesn't have a signature athlete. And when I say signature athlete, I mean like this guy. Just like Jordan or Pimpin that also had their own signature lines, Barkley was a beast and wearing the shoes you definitely wanted to represent just like he did. He played hard every game, he was a serious player, took it serious, and did work out on the court. Now by no means am I telling you this Air Max 270 is not a good shoe to hoop in. And by no means am I telling you that the Air Max 270 is not a great shoe. But what I am telling you is this, if it's up to me and what shoe I'm gonna purchase to go hoop in, and with Nike releasing retro 90s pairs all the time, I'm gonna go for that retro pair, not only because it has the style I love, but the performance to go with it. Appreciate you all watching. Please like and subscribe. Peace.